I wanted to make a domino animation using Blender's rigid body, so let's get started. This is what we want to achieve and it's actually pretty easy. Let's add a plane for the ground first. I'm gonna scale it in edit mode. If you scale or rotate in object mode, make sure to press Ctrl A to apply those transforms, otherwise you might get some weird results. Now I'm gonna make a path. I'll start out with a single vert and extrude. I find it faster and easier doing it this way, but you can use a curve path or a bezier curve if you want. Press Ctrl 3 for a subsurf and apply. We'll create the domino piece next. Add a cube, scale, and move verts to shape. I'll set the origin to geometry just in case. Let's move it to the left. Now select the plane and click Rigid Body under Physics tab. If you leave it as default type active, this is what happens when you press spacebar to play. Now apply Rigid Body to the cube. See how it falls through the ground. This is why we have to set the plane's rigid body type to passive. When you play now, it doesn't fall through. I'm going to add an array modifier and increase count and relative X offset. Add a curve modifier next. If you started out with a curve object you can just select that curve, but I need to convert my single vert extrusion mesh line to curve first. Where did it go? There it is. Let's move it along the x-axis to where it belongs. We need to increase count as well. The rigid body will not work with the way we want with our modifiers, so let's apply all modifiers by converting our object to mesh. Then go into edit mode and select all, press P to separate by loose parts. Go back to object mode and right click to set the origin point to geometry. We're almost done now. All you have to do is rotate this first piece and press spacebar to play. It's working, but seems too slow. Go to Scene Properties tab and change Speed to 3 under Rigid Body World Settings. I think that'll do. Let's go back to the beginning and play again just for the fun of it. You know what? I forgot to add a bevel modifier before applying the array modifier. Let's add that now cause it's gonna look better when we render. You can go for whatever setting pleases you. I'm gonna add 6 segments, turn on auto smooth and set the shading to harden normals. Let's select all cubes. Make sure the first is active and press this drop down arrow of the bevel modifier to choose copy to selected. 
I think rigid body is a lot of fun and easier than thought. Hope you had fun too and please subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you soon.